Last week, we introduced you to Matt Hamill. After serving five years in the Navy, the Minnesota vet is struggling. So much so, he's been living in his truck this winter. Some of our viewers saw his story, and what happened next is nothing short of amazing generosity. Our Beth McDonough picks up where Hamill's story left off. Matt Hamill, a Navy veteran, is in a war of a different kind. The 31-year-old couldn't hold back when asked to describe his life recently. He's jobless and homeless. Over the winter, this truck became his only refuge. That's until the heat went out and the brutal cold outside crept inside every night. <coughs> What's more, you can tell by the way he hobbles around, he suffers chronic pain. Frequent trips to the VA Medical Center across town are a must, if his rickety truck makes it. Not having income, not knowing where you're at day to day, not knowing if you can afford to get to an appointment. Some Minnesotans want to ease Hamill's pain. The folks at White Bear Mitsubishi asked him to bring the truck in. They lifted the hood and looked under the motor. We just learned that there's an awful lot wrong with this engine and it might take a while to repair. After taking his truck on a test drive, mechanics confirmed their concerns. Hamill's truck isn't safe. And obviously you want to make sure that you have safe transportation. We just like to make sure that transportation isn't the reason why uh, you have a, a roadblock to getting better. So we, we appreciate your service to our country. And with that, the dealership gave Hamill a break and keys to this SUV. Do what? what do you... We would send you home in this one instead. We would just give you this car. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? You know, it's a V6, four-wheel drive. Should get better gas mileage than what you're getting right now. Hamill was shock yep. silent. Thank you, seriously. I'm gonna start it and make sure the heat works. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the right thing to do. I mean, there's so many people who give their time um, and their service to our country. And it's really the least we can do. Wow. Beth McDonough, 5 Eyewitness News. No strings attached. That's not all. Employees actually raised money to give Hamill gas cards, too. And Beth mentioned that while they were waiting in the customer lounge with Hamill today, some folks just sitting around them overheard his struggle, and they reached in their pockets so they could donate money as well. Hmm. What an amazing story, and uh, glad to see he's finally getting the help that he deserves. Generous Minnesotans stepping yeah. in, that's right. Well, we are a game of...